Hi, all you gorgeous people. Okay, so this is what I'm stuck with. Um, this is the third time I'm remaking this video, okay? I have tried my best to, um, I only have 10 minutes to do the video in, and I've I cannot get the technical stuff as well as the technique into the 10 minutes. So I know you guys are going to hate me and I, I don't want to bore you to death or anything, but there is just no way that I can get the technical stuff of what you guys need to look for as well as the actual procedure as to how to get your tan safely. I apologize. I cannot get it in 10 minutes. I spoke really fast. I forgot half the information that I wanted to give you guys because I tried to shove it all in in, in, in 10 minutes and it just ain't going to happen. So... Okay, so the first video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys all the technical stuff as to how to look for a reputable salon, what to look for in sunbeds, all of those things so that you don't go and burn yourself to a crisp because the people that work in sunbeds are not always as knowledgeable as they should be, okay? This is what this video is going to be about. Um, also, um, I, um, we, okay, these two videos I'm going to attach to each other and I'm also going to attach them to the previous video that I did. But there's one video that is very, very, very important for you guys to go and watch. It's a, a, I'm going to do, put the um, link in the sidebar and I want you guys to literally stop my video, stop this video and go and watch that video before you even go um, to the rest of this, um, go to, uh, watch the rest of this video, okay? Um, this is a medical doctor that basically exp explains everything about the disadvantages of uh, not having a tan, how it's related to breast cancer, um, all of those kind of things. That I was going to put that in another video and then going to do the technical stuff on sunbeds and then going to, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, this whole sunbed thing is, is you guys are going to hate me if I do that, okay? So here's the, this guy did it sweet and short. He didn't go into as much detail as I most probably would have gone gotten into because I tend to get way too, uh, 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 anal about giving everything to everybody okay i think this guy did it short and sweet without giving too much details blah 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 watch his videos um come back to me if you have any questions on how we got to the info that he got to and blah 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 and i'll give that to you guys and i'll answer your questions but for this video the first thing that you guys need to do is uh, you're going to look for a reputable um sun uh, su uh, s uh, salon tanning salon okay not everybody is equally good um for I, I'm, I'm now talking to people the reason i'm doing this so basic is because there's a lot of people that have until this point not ever seen a tanning place and they will get hagged and they will get uh, robbed if i don't give them this information so if you guys have been on tanning beds before and you know all of this ignore this part and go to the second part of this video where i'm going to explain the part of how to get a safe tan this one's not going to be how to get the safe tan it's to help these people to get into a salon and know what to do okay so and so that you don't get sold all kinds of crappy expensive products that's not going to make a difference in, 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 in for anything so the first thing is you walk into a salon you talk to the girl that's in the front you ask them the following questions i'm going to tell you how sunbeds work sunbeds have all their bulbs have a thousand hours on average a thousand hour lifespan okay the closer you get to the thousand hours the weaker the sunbeds get if you go into a sunbed that has new bulbs that they just put in those bulbs are a lot stronger than a sunbed who's been running 600 to 700 or 800 hours so um first of all ask them how do you keep track of your sunbed hours or your bulb hours okay if they don't you guys are going to pay a package for a, a sunbed um uh, tanning session and you're not going to get a tan and your uh, money is going to be down the drain because a lot of people are lazy they don't have a tracking system they don't do anything like that most reputable really good tanning salons have a computer system where every time you go on a sunbed the minute minutes gets add um gets added up so that by the time it gets to a thousand hours or whatever then they know okay when they're close to the thousand hours it's time to replace the bulbs so that's the first thing you guys need to do. Um, first of all, if you go in and you ask those kind of questions, these people are very rarely going to try and sell you a bunch of crap because you're going to look like you're knowledgeable, okay? So first of all, that's what you're going to do. You get different types of sunbeds. You get um, medium sunbeds, which is something you can start out on. The, the whole uh, light sunbed, uh, um, sunbed thing, you know, with light tanning and for people with ivory skin, people, you're never going to get anywhere with those. These people are going to trick you out of your money because you're going to pay, say, $80 for 100 minutes and after 100 minutes you're not even going to be two shades darker than you already are when you go on a light bed you always look for a medium bed 
a medium bed is a bed that you can tan on for 20 minutes. If you, you th that's another thing you can ask them is your medium bed, how many minutes, what's the maximum time? If somebody has a bed that you can go on for 30 minutes, people, you will not ever get a tan ever in your life on a bed that you have to lie on for 30 minutes because it ain't going to happen. You, what you're looking for, ivory and fair skin people, is a bed that you at, has a 20 uh, minute maximum limit, okay? You get um, turbo beds, which is a 10 minute uh, um, uh, maximum. Ivory people, you will never go on this bed until you are my coloring, until you have done this for years and you've gotten a base color and you have a, a medium skin tone color. You will never go on a, on a turbo bed for ten, the, the 10 minute turbo bed because you will end up in hospital with third degree burn wounds. You will also not go on a stand up bed, okay? A stand up bed is the same thing, maximum time is 10 minutes. So you're going to look for a medium bed, which the maximum time is 20 minutes, okay? That's what you're looking for. The next thing is, uh, you ask about the light bulbs, ask them how they track them, blah, blah, blah. The next thing is, these people are going to try and sell you these really expensive creams that does absolutely nothing for you. Um, somebody was asking me, how come I have such a nice coloring, how come I'm not yellow? The reason for that is, people, I tan stark naked with nothing thing on me and I don't use their retarded little creams that they charge you in between 60 and 120 dollars for a little tub of cream like that which has hemp oil in it. It's basically moisturizers and bronzers. And if you go on a sunbed, why would you need a bronzer? The only reason they put bronzers in those things and tell you that you need it is because you will see something faster, um, but you could just as well go and put a self-tanner because that's exactly what's in that product. And any self-tanner that you put on your body when you go in a sunbed will accelerate the process, the, 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 accelerate the, the what people help me out here, the, the, um, the thing of the, the, the self-tanner so that um, you look more tanned. But the moment you stop using it, all that stuff's going to wash off and you're going to have your original color. So I don't use any creams when I go on a sunbed. I think it's really gross. If I ever owned a sunbed, I wouldn't allow anybody to put those creams on and muck up my sunbed with it, okay? Because you get sticky and stinky and it's gross and I don't even know why on earth you would do it. I tested those, those creams. I had six different creams. It cost me over 300 bucks for those different creams. <coughs> I used the creams on the right side of my body for uh, three to four months, I think there was absolutely no difference between my right side and my left side, except my right side was yellow because there was self or orange because there were self tanners in it. By the time the self tanners had washed off, I had the exact same color on my left and my right side. So all you guys need to know that's very ex important is um, you do not need those creams to go on a sunbed. Um, they're going to tell you all kinds of stories about, um, oh, but you, you're so light, you will never tan if you don't use these creams, which that is crap people. You are working on melanin in your skin that has nothing to do with the creams. The def what's a definite fact is if you have a lot of dead skin on your body, it's very hard for the sun rays to actually uh, penetrate through the dead skin to get to the melanin in your skin. But what you're going to do is when you start this whole process, you are going to um, exfoliate your skin on a regular basis and you're going to moisturize your skin with your own normal moisturizer, whether it be Vaseline intensive care that you buy from the pharmacy or whether it be whatever the heck you use. That's what you're going to use before you go on a sunbed. You use it in the morning if you know that day you're going to tan. You should be putting moisturizer on yourself um, uh, on a daily basis anyways. You do not need those creams. Don't let them intimidate you into to, um, buying those creams. Um, they are sales people they are making a heck of a huge commission on those creams I was looking into buying sunbeds and um, I was talking to the guy and obviously they they sell you these packages if you buy this bed and this bed then you get this thousands of creams for an extra thousand dollars but when you actually sell these things at a markup of 200 percent you basically uh, make six thousand dollars out of the thousand dollars that you spend on these creams and they really really don't do anything it is their job to sell you these creams because they get this huge commission on it and um, it adds to the minutes of the bed. Like they don't make that much money out of the beds as much as they would make out of the cream. So they make more of their money out of selling the creams than actually putting you on a sunbed. You go on the sunbed, you go naked. Um, don't worry about your sensitive areas, okay? Um, I always tell people just get your whole body in there, tan everything. You won't have tan lines. It's all wonderful and hunky dairy and uh, dandy. And for those people who had waxing done or Brazilians or laser treatments done because you're going to start um, at a very, very light um, 
uh, uh, like two minutes or something on a sunbed, you don't have to worry about that very white area or your nipples are going to burn or something like that because you're going to start at two minutes. So go start naked in the sunbed. It's good for you. Get everything tanned. And especially ladies who I know uh, one of my clients, um, one of my subbies are, are going to be pregnant one uh, in a, a while, I, uh, she thinks. Um, it's very good for your breast to get sun too because it toughens up your nipples if you are going to plan on giving... Um, uh, uh, um, or, or ba um, breastfeeding your baby. So um, the sun is actually good for your boobs too and some other areas too. Tan the whole thing. You don't have to wear underwears. You don't have to wear a G-string. You don't have to go start naked. I've been going start naked. My skin is all one color, all gorgeous. I don't have a little white triangle anywhere uh, and you don't need any triangles anywhere. You can tan. Um, you can tan everything. So um, that's that for now. And then the next thing I'm going to, the next video I'm going to explain how to do it. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.